Hello everyone, so we will continue our PySpark tutorial and in this particular video we are going to see about the fill and fill NA function in a PySpark. Fill and fill NA generally we use whenever you have to replace any null value with certain values then we can use a fill NA column. It is a very much useful because whenever you perform a data cleaning operation you will get a scenario like you will be having a data set containing multiple null values and that you want to replace with certain values. In that case we actually you can use a fill NA. So let's do a practical. So I have one of the file. This is the sample uh, data set I have. What I will do, I will just try to upload that. I'll go to catalog, click on the create table. I'll just try to upload that particular file, sample.csv file. This is the sample.csv file. I'll just click here. And this is the particular location. So I will just copy this and I will go to the my notebook and I will just paste this this particular location my file is available I want to read that how actually we can read that we can create a data frame right so how actually we will create df equal to the spark dot read dot csv and after that we will pass the location and after that what we will make header equal to the true true and after that I will make the df dot so if I will do this you will see uh, our data frame you can see this is my data frame in this type column I have a multiple null value in a city also I have a multiple null value in a population also, column also I have a null value now if I'll do df dot na dot fill and if I'll, I want to replace with the blank value dot so if I'll write now let's see what will be the output we'll get so you can see whenever I am writing df dot na dot fill fill with all the blank value wherever null is there so you can see in the type column wherever the null was coming now it is coming a blank value similarly in a population also if I'll make this certain value like unknown that also you can do if I'll do unknown wherever the null value will be there that will get replaced with the unknown so that kind of the flexibility we get so this is a df dot na dot fill if I'll write df dot fill na and here also let's do the same thing I want to replace with the blank value dot so if I will do it will work in the same way in the all the column it got replaced now suppose you have your requirement is like you want to replace only a specific column then how actually we can do so suppose if in a specific column we have to replace then we have to write df dot na dot fill or df dot fill na you can write what is the value you want to replace I want to replace with a blank value but only in a CT column so what you have to do comma and bracket you have to write a CT in the CT column only I want to replace with the blank value dot so if I will do so you should see it should get replaced only in the CT so in case you can see in a CT column only it got replaced with the blank value in a type still we can see the null value Similarly, suppose you want to do it for the multiple column. So after that also you can write uh, df dot na dot fill ct and also you want to do it for the uh, population column. So how actually you can write dot na dot fill. I want to replace with the uh, other on which particular column I want to do it in a population column. So I will write population. Now if I will do dot so. You can see in population column it got replaced with the other in city column it got replaced with this. So what I have written df dot na dot fill I want to replace the city column with the blank value so that I have mentioned dot na dot fill other in a population column. So like that also we can do that. Now one thing you have to remember suppose uh, this, as of now if you will see in our data frame if I show you the schema df dot print schema if I'll do everything is in a string format so it was working fine now suppose uh, let me make this as a infer schema true also like the proper schema also infer schema true so now if I show you the schema you can see population will become the integer now if I'll perform the same operation df dot na dot fill so I want to replace all the null value with the unknown if I'll do that so you can see 
only in the type and the ct column it got replaced in the population column it got it, it didn't get replaced because the population column is the integer value right we had defined already so there actually it is not reflecting it is reflecting only in the string column but if i make this zero dot so in this case i am replacing only the integer so only integer column only it will got replaced you can see ct and type it, it didn't got replaced so based on the schema type actually value will get replaced that you have to remember 